Hello and welcome to Chasing Diecast Cars. In this episode we're going to take a look at some Hot Wheels faster than ever releases. These mainline cars were available from 2009 till 2012. They have nickel plated axles that makes them go faster on the track. You can recognize them by their copper colored rims. I don't have any 2009 releases so we'll start with these 2010 ones. First one is a custom V8 Vega. So here on top it says faster than ever. The back 2010 number 127 custom V8 Vega. Very nice blue color. Not a big fan of the red windscreen, I must admit. Chrome grill piece, that's nice. And chrome exhaust, part of the base. Very cool looking. Next one, the C6 Conver Corvette convertible. So it says faster than ever here at the top. 2010 number 131 C6 Corvette. This one has some yellow windows. So we got a pretty decent interior here. Looking good. Got some side tempos here, some uh, side markers. So a nice blue color, headlights and the Corvette logo, cool. Then we go to 2011, this is the Ferrari 458 Italia, so it says faster than ever here underneath the car and then again here on top, two times on the American card. And then here we get some explanation on what the faster than ever cars are. Usually I don't open up uh, my Ferraris in uh, uh, videos because I want to keep them for a separate Ferrari video. But since I don't have a lot of cars for this video, I'm going to open this one for once. So, that's it. Very nice version. Got the Scuderia badge here on the side. Got the badge on the front, but it's not very well done. Headlight echoes. And then nothing in the back. And a nicely detailed interior. Cool. Then we got this Camaro convertible concept. On the short card it only says faster than ever here, not again here because there's not enough room on the card. So this also has the open hold wheels but in a different design. You can see through them, that's why I call them open hold. Again, nice interior. It's got deco on the top and on the sides, but nothing in the front and the rear. That's a little bit of a smoked windscreen. These wheels look cool when they uh, roll. Very nice. And then I've got a loose one that I bought uh, loose second hand. This is the VW Type 181 or the thing. This top comes off. So it has a smoke twin screen. You see the, the engine in the back. No tail lights, just headlights and the VW emblem. 
and side tempos also a proper interior so what I noticed uh, I'll put this back on I have uh, another version a non faster than ever version with the normal open hold five spokes on it uh, if you look at the the, uh, the back wheel here if you turn this wheel the other wheel doesn't turn same here in the front look at the back wheel doesn't move but if you do the same with the faster than ever version again look here at the back wheel you see it starts to turn same in the front, look at the back wheel, again it starts to turn. So that's something I noticed that makes a difference between a normal axle and these nickel plated axles. This one has got the chrome engine by the way, this is the grey like the interior. No, it's like the base, sorry, it's part of the base, the engine is part of the base. Interior is a separate piece. Then we go to 2012. This is the 2010 Ford Shelby GT500 Super Snake. That's a long name. It's repeated here on the back of the card. So we got an very shiny orange base nice kind of a teal color nothing in the back nothing in the front but sides and top and uh, that's a kind of a gray interior but the colored windows make it look a little bit different but it's a nice version anyway I like it these wheels are really cool. And then the last one is the Austin Martin DBS. I have two cards, the short card and the American long card. You can see the difference here between the two cards. I'm going to open up the short one because I have multiples of those. And we have one long card. Doesn't say anything on the base when it comes to the, the car. So we get headlights and the uh, Aston Martin emblem. Nothing on the back, so very, very limited deco on this one. A Aston Martin emblem in the back would have been nice, at least. But anyways, so that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.